This is the Mouth Closures Not Taught in School Step-by-Step -step Guide. Welcome to Your More Tray Magic Store. Some things you'll need, aneurysm hooks, spring forceps, ligature, suture, needle, half moon is what we find works best, especially working in the mouth without causing any trauma or damage to the lips. So you want to cut some ligature, and then the next step is, is pretty, pretty straightforward. You want to saw the ligature between the teeth. If you have any trouble, <clears throat> you can drive a needle between the two teeth or, or something um, so the space is created. You guide the thread through the other side in the same way. If you don't like using the aneurysm hook for this, you can always use a forcep too. And then what you're going to do is you're going to continue to slide it forward and back so it's nice and deep at the root <clears throat> of the tooth. And then at that point, you'll pass the thread through the loop and you'll create what's called a lark's knot. You'll pull it tight and you'll finish the closure by passing the thread through the septum, um, if that's your desired means. Or um, if you need it a little bit tighter, you tie it off in the mouth, but realize the threads are going to possibly interfere with your lip closure. Now this is the lingual stitch. Um, the lingual stitch, you want to pass underneath the tongue there. And we do cases on unembalmed um, uh, persons as well. Um, so we generally suggest this X pattern to reinforce the underside of the tongue. Uh, but the most surefire way uh, to do that is you can use a little bit of cavity fluid injected hypodermically underneath the tongue. It'll strengthen the tissue underneath the tongue and prevent this from ripping out. You certainly want to give it a little bit of time uh, to set in. Um, once you do that, you're about set and you can either pass through the, the, the top part of the septum and tie off in the nose <clears throat> or you can tie off in the mouth. The nose is a preferred method for a lot of embalmers because if you ever need to get back in or make an adjustment, it's readily accessible without disrupting the inside of the mouth. But inside the mouth is certainly a tighter um, means to close uh, the mouth. It just pulls better. If you have any questions or if we can be helpful, feel free to reach out, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.